Hello everyone. So today we are going to see a new topic known as the Krebs cycle. This Krebs cycle, it is named after its scientist Hans Krebs. Hans Krebs firstly discovered this cycle. So it is called as the Krebs cycle. This Krebs cycle, it is also known as tricarboxylic acid cycle. Now why it is called as the tricarboxylic acid cycle? Because of the component which is synthesized in this Krebs cycle. The citrate molecule which is synthesized, it has three carboxyl group. Therefore, this cycle, it is called as the tricarboxylic acid cycle. Now, this cycle, it is present in both the eukaryotes as well as the prokaryotes. In the prokaryotes, the Krebs cycle, it is present in the cytoplasm. But in the eukaryote, this Krebs cycle, it is present in a cell organelle called as the mitochondria. As we all know, the prokaryotic cell, they lack the cellular organism, the cellular organelles. That's why this particular cycle, it is present in the cytoplasm of the prokaryotic cell. But in eukaryotes, this cycle, it is present in the mitochondria. When we talk about this mitochondria, it is also known as the powerhouse of the cell. Why it is called as the powerhouse of the cell? Because in the mitochondria, there is generation of ATP molecules. And due to the generation of ATP molecules, which are the energy currencies, this mitochondria, it is called as the powerhouse of the cell. In the mitochondria, the electron transport chain is present. This electron transport chain, it is made up of different complexes which play a vital role in carrying the electrons. The complexes which are present in this electron transport chain, among them, there is a complex called as the complex 2. This particular complex 2, it is also known as succinate dehydrogenase complex. As it is known as the succinate dehydrogenase complex, this succinate dehydrogenase enzyme, it is important for the Krebs cycle. So that's why this particular Krebs cycle, it takes place in the matrix of the mitochondria. Now, how this Krebs cycle, it starts? We all know that glycolysis, it takes place in the 
organism and in glycolysis glucose is converted to pyruvate this pyruvate when it is formed this pyruvate it is then further converted to acetyl coa and there is liberation of two carbon dioxide molecules the acetyl coa it participate in the krebs cycle this is the important component which participate in the krebs cycle in the krebs cycle there is generation of reducing power and liberation of the carbon dioxide molecules so here we will start the krebs cycle when we talk about the krebs cycle the acetyl coa which is generated from the pyruvate molecule it combines with the oxaloacetate acetyl coa is a two carbon molecule and oxaloacetate is a four carbon molecule these two components they combine and it get converted to citrate citrate it is a six carbon molecule and this citrate it is also known as the tri carboxylic acid due to the presence of three carboxyl group the reaction it is carried out by citrate synthase then the citrate it is converted to isocitrate by the enzyme say by the enzyme aconitase during this reaction a intermediate product it is formed which is called as cis aconitate once the isocitrate it is generated this isocitrate it get converted to a five carbon containing alpha keto glutarate during this reaction oxidative decarboxylation of isocitrate it occurs this isocitrate dehydrogenase enzyme it is responsible for the oxidative decarboxylation reaction due to which the six carbon containing compound is converted to a five carbon containing compound and here there is liberation of carbon dioxide along with the formation of NADH which is your reducing power the alpha keto glutarate it is then converted to succinyl coa even here the oxidative decarboxylation reaction occurs and the enzyme is alpha keto glutarate dehydrogenase here a coenzyme a is utilized one carbon dioxide molecule is liberated out and there is generation of reducing power which is your nadh the succinyl coa which is synthesized here it is then further cleaved and there is formation of succinate to carry out this reaction succinyl coa synthetase enzyme is utilized and during this reaction there is generation of gtp gtp it donates the phosphate group to adp and from this atp is synthesized 
so here substrate level phosphorylation occur the succinate which is formed it is then converted to fumarate by the enzyme succinate dehydrogenase as i have already told you that the succinate dehydrogenase enzyme it is a part of electron transport chain so this particular reaction it occurs in the complex 2 of electron transport chain the fumarate it is then converted to the malate by the enzyme fumarase this enzyme fumarase it utilizes one water molecule to carry out its reaction this malate it is then converted to oxaloacetate by enzyme malate dehydrogenase and there is generation of NADH now in the krebs cycle in all two acetyl coa molecules take part so there is generation of 6 NADH two FADH2 and to atp so here there is generation of all these high energy compounds in the krebs cycle the nadh and fadh2 they participate in the electron transport chain they act as a electron donor in the electron transport chain and there is direct generation of atp through the gtp this atp it is generated from the gtp molecule in this way this krebs cycle it is carried out and the oxaloacetate which is a four carbon compound it then react with another acetyl coa to carry out the next cycle of tca so in this way the complete krebs cycle it is carried out in an organism this particular krebs cycle it is carried out in the matrix of mitochondria in the eukaryotic cell and in the cytoplasm of prokaryotes as the prokaryotes they lack the cellular organelles that's why they do not have the mitochondria and this reaction it takes place in the cytoplasm of the prokaryotic cell